Hi everyone. In today's topic, we are going to learn about how to check event notification in Webhook. Uh, we will see two different type of the events. One is when someone is commenting on our media, and second is when someone is sending a message to us, right? And then we will see how, how to check that particular user. There is one API by which we can quickly check some info regarding that user and then we will see how to send a basic message to that user. Yeah. Now if you remember in our previous video we have set up our meta application. We created one web application by which we are going to receive our event notifications let's start with uh, checking the event notifications i already have this flask application running if not let's stop it once start it again my ngrock service is also on which means my app is still live yeah so let's resize this window open our account let me comment to one of the post from my channel's instagram account so i just made a comment let's see whether we are getting this notification here or not yes you can see we received this notification in our webhook uh, let's check our page you can see my channel's instagram commented on this post uh, and the uh, comment is nice mountains right so here you can see this is our object of a comment event and from which user we got this comment is with this code with table media type on which media type we have received that and what is the text right so now let's find out about this user like for that instagram is providing us a api to check like the user commented on our media has any followers whether that account is following us or we are following to that account and whether it's verify user or not yeah. the endpoint is this base url and the user id that we are getting from this webhook event notification we just need to make a get request you can see it is returning the account details like name name of my instagram account profile pic url username follower count i don't have any we both are not following to each other i also don't have the verified profile right and this is the id that we got from a webhook notification uh, if you want to read more about these parameters uh, you can read it from here which is messaging api user profile right that we used this ig id is like instagram scoped id received in a message webhook as i mentioned and the fields that we want to return and these are the field name and the description about that we almost covered all of them 
you can directly use that now suppose i want to send a message to that user right how to do that we need to copy that igs id and paste it here so this is the send text message endpoint that you can get from messaging and here send a text message right so this is the endpoint that we are going to use to send a message to that user here endpoint is base url me and messages make sure uh, to send a text message we need to add the token in headers right that is authorization and we need to add barrier token here our user access token or long access token it doesn't matter right and we need to pass this details as a json that's why we want to mention content type is application json and in json body what we are going to do we are adding the recipient id which is that user id who commented on our post and the message right so message let's say hi thanks for your comment right let's run that you can see the message it sent that's why you are getting this message and if we go to our instagram user go to messages you can see here that we sent a message by api right so let's send it again please follow me you can see it's available here so yeah that's how you can send a message to particular user now if we look at our web web hook let's go up here you can see this user commented on our post and for that we received this event notification that this user made a comment with this text right and then what we did we messaged them which is like this sender is our id and recipient is this user's id and the text that sent we, we just sent yeah and again we also send the next message that please follow me and uh, with the same details yeah now let's see whether we are getting a notification when user is replying to our message so let me reply that from my channel's account i replied to a message that and you can see here we are getting two notifications first one that the sender which means that code with devil user read your message right so webhook even notification is also sending us a message when user read your message right and then this user which is 604 which is code with devil replied to our account which is 178 that you're welcome if we go to this instagram you can see your welcome is here now let me react to the please follow me you can see the reaction is available and we are also getting that notification that code with devil action reacted on your post sorry not post on your message and the emoji
so yeah that's how you can check your webhook notifications get that particular users information and send a message to them and we can track that user whether that user has read our message or not whether he replied anything or not or reacted on our message or not right so here there is a one limitation that suppose i want to send a message to this user right in our example let's say i want to send a message to abg user so how i can send that uh, it is not possible to send a message directly to that user because we don't have that user's ig as id right if we see here this one this id because why we don't have because we haven't received any comment or message from that user abc user so that's why we don't have this igs id and without that we can't send messages to them there is no endpoint available to like query this username and get that igs id right we can only get it from this webhook event notification and there is no other method available for now make sure uh, you have this logic clear in your mind that you, you can only send messages to those user for which you have igs id available yeah that's all for the video thanks for watching